Hi, welcome to my video tutorial. Today I'm looking at Curzwheel 3000. It's got many great options all incorporated into one application, for example study skills, readback, OCR and many more. So I'm going to have a quick look at it and the first thing I'm going to start looking at is a scan option. You can actually scan a document and if you want you can also send it to Word or convert it into standard text. So first thing we're going to do is go to the scan button at the top here. First thing you'll need to do is go to scanner setup and select your scanner from a list. Once that's done, place your document into your scanner and then press the start new scan button. Once the scan is completed, we need to view it. So go up to view and we're going to rotate it. And there we go. Now once rotated, we can click on the beginning and then we can go up to the ribbon and click the read button. and then it will start reading back the text on the screen highlighting as you go along. We can also take that text and if we go to file top left hand corner and we can extract notes and highlights which I'll show you in a minute by highlighting extract text. Choose your primary text, secondary text and text notes. Click OK. Click maximize and there we have the text which enables you to copy, paste and edit. Also handy if we click the readback feature will as you're listening to back you might want to colour code stuff to help you remember so I'm going to choose a pink highlight and just hold the left button and drag along and there's your highlight you might decide there's some information down here you wish to highlight I'll make that green and so on. So now if I go to file extract I can extract notes and highlights as there's no notes here just the highlights I can click OK and it extracts them into another page and I can start working on them to clear those highlights choose the highlight eraser here and then highlight all the text then click yes to clear and there you have your information and you can click play to listen back I'm going to go back to the main document and I'm going to clear all the highlights. I'm just going to hold the left button highlight and clear. Another option it gives you, I haven't got this, this is a demo version, but you should have an option to actually export that to a Word document as well. While in the document, we also have option here of definition, synonyms, or spell check. So for example, if I highlight a word there and I'll click on definition maximize that window it should be the definition of that word and it has and a great option is you can actually listen to that back as well by clicking read which just helps you to understand that better top right hand corner I can then close that and go back to your visual document also you have the synonym option so words that have similar meaning you can use that as well and also a spell check to check any errors in your document you also have a nice little option here translate so you can translate a number of text tech language and then you can actually transcribe it to those languages available so that could be something else you might want to use if you're doing a language degree or whatever I don't know how good that is because I barely speak my own language also there, if you want to know how to pronounce a certain word, again just highlight the word and click the pronounce button and, and then that will speak out that word for you. We go up to here, so that's the red option, we go to the yellow option here and you can actually close those options on the ribbon, so if I click green, option it closes your study skills, click green again, opens them up, click yellow, opens them up. 
I want to show you this option here as well is hazel now currently in hazel I kind of like hazel as the main voice but you have other options there of Serena so if I click Serena and click play then you can choose the correct voice you need also along Serena is your voice is in a continuous reading or word by word or you can self pace it certain speed phrase line sentences so you can choose how much of you want read back I prefer phrase actually also you can decrease or speed up the reading speed also you can zoom in and out as so and last of all on the main option here you can go previous page or next page in this case I only have the one page but then you can skip to each pages if you require so there's your main options there now if I go down to the green study skills option this is where it's showing all the color coding so you can color code add footnotes bookmarks if you want you can also add floating word lists if you require and even add hyperlinks to internet sites or links on your computer which is great for attachment great for revision maps and stuff now talking about revision maps this program also does well it enables you to do some mind mapping which I want to show you in a second let's go down to the blue tier so you can choose your fonts there size and all your basic formatting options and how you want it aligned single spaced or double spaced you also have your spell check there also have a word prediction have a click on word prediction as you type this should start predicting the word you're going to type now this actually learns as you use it so you can actually use the button to train it so as you use it more and more of your work it will come up with the kind of words you use house. I'm just going to choose house click close now these are your options here at the end and this is for mind mapping which I'm going to show you now so click the brainstorm view now hold the left button just drag that into position now this blue bottom tier we can use for your brainstorming and also use Outlook view if you need to do it in written format but click on here we have a few options first option I would use you want to actually create your symbols so there's the shortcut key control plus one so if I come on here and hold control plus one on I can start adding information and we can call this second idea second. and so on now if you click on that and go to the bottom corner or any corner you can drag that bigger as so and then you can drag that where you want that and again click off that control one and keep going so just keep adding your ideas as you're going along I'm going to drag that over there also if you click on a symbol come to the palette here we have an option here called fill color because I've highlighted second idea if I click fill color I can change the color I want also you can go to define custom colors if required so I'm going to choose an orange that's color coded same here symbol go to your color palette choose a color click OK and there we go still a major problem with that though it's not connected is it I don't know what is the main idea even though it's written the main idea it'd be good to have it linked so I know exactly what I'm doing with the map as it grows so what we do is we come back to the brainstorm palette and you should have a button there called link now you can use control backward slash if you want that's a shortcut key so click on the ones you want click on the edge and you've connected click on the main idea click on the next idea and there we go and turn it off and now I've created my links also here you can even add background colour if you like to liven it up a bit also if I actually click on a symbol here if we come over here you can change the text colour go back to default or delete you can actually delete by pressing the delete key as well if you required up here is important now I've got second idea highlighted so if I add a note to it which is also control T as you can see it's color coded the same as the symbol so then I can start adding my information into there close it with the X and you can see it attaches itself to that symbol so you can open it up a later date and add more information into it when you actually finish your mind map 
as I can't do it on this version as it's demo but you can export it to Word so you can see it in text format we can also see it in text format Outlook if we come up back to here to our blue tier we have Outline View click that and then we'll see how your maps progressing in Outline View it's this option Review Writing you can check off what you've done by listing it here so you can do right listen to work written work check spelling check punctuation verify capitalization check word list so you can make sure all your work's done and correct definitely worth using I'm going to go back to outline view and that's where it is well, you might use outline view quite a lot swapping between the two or you could use the split view it's up to you how you want to work that there are many options to Curse Wheel 3000, but there's a few just to get you up and running. Thanks for watching.